Bienvenidos amigos de YouTube a un nuevo video, una nueva entrevista. Hoy nos vamos directamente a Europa para hablar con Ulf Wahlberg del grupo Secret Service, un grupo eh, de Suecia que la rompió en los 80s eh, con un gran tema llamado Flano con él. Vamos a estar repasando un poco de ese gran periodo, de esa gran época. So, welcome Ulf to my YouTube channel. Hello, how are you, my friend? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to, to, to meet you. And it's uh, nice to be on the other side of the Atlantic Sea too. Uh, yeah. Digitally. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, digitally. Maybe in the future, who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Great. You know, I was saying mm -hmm. that um, there was a, a big smash hit, you know, a Flash in the Night. Um, in the group Secret Service start in the end of the 70s. Um, I want to talk about mm -hmm. the beginnings because the first group that you formed was um, Ola plus three. That's right. Yeah, that's okay. right. Exactly. Okay. Great. Let's talk about it. I want to know about that. Oh, about Ola plus three. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ola and I have been friends, he, and, and I've been playing together with him since. Uh, the beginning of the 70s actually I was very young I was uh, he's older than me the, the Ola the singer I mean he's he's seven years older than me so I was a young kid and I I got the pleasure to play in his his band at that time in the beginning of the 70s Ola and the Janglers was the name uh, so we met earlier very early and 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 then he helped me with my band that I had and, and things like that. So we kept in contact for, for years. And and at the end of, uh, uh, we went studying together also because I, I was very young when I went professional musician. I, I, I jumped off the school, you know, and <laughs> and I want to play. I, 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 that's what I wanted, nothing else. So, and, and the same was with Ola actually. So we went studying together for, for some years. Okay. And during that time, we developed a band to, to, to get some money, to, we must eat. Even if we yeah. are studying, we must eat. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, we actually did that and, and uh, created this band. And, and then there was the Eurovision Song Contest in 79. Okay. And uh, I sent in a couple of songs And the band had stopped, actually, more or less. Uh, Ola was now working on, on Sonet Record Company, and I was working as a music teacher and little things like that. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the chief of, of Eurovision called me and said, Hi, your song is on the Eurovision Song Contest in Sweden. <laughs> wow. And, and he said, who's going to sing? He asked me. And I, I had I haven't even asked Ola, so I said Ola Ola Hawkinson. So I said right, <laughs> okay, great. And then on the next day, on the, every newspaper in Sweden, Ola yeah. is doing comeback, and Ola is calling me. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> It was a great surprise for him. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my well, God. I have stopped. I'm no, I'm not pop singer anymore. I, I work like a record company man. You know, <laughs> I, I know. Uh, but after after some blah blah hit here and there, he said, "Okay, let's do it." Then we started Ola Plus Three, this thing, and oh, went okay. to the the Eurovision Song Contest, and and it went go good. I mean, in in the song contest, either you win. Mm -hmm. that, that's what you, the other is. Well, we had some little success. And, and, and in that case, we had to make a record mm -hmm. also. So we made an album. Oh, okay. And we made the last song we recorded was a song called. And, uh, it was in Swedish, though, at the time. Oh, okay. Well, it was in Swedish first. Yeah. Swedish oh, okay. Language. Okay, okay. Yeah. So the, the album was released with Swedish lyrics. And there were some DJs in Stockholm who said, well, this, this is a hit. This is a hit. You must do it in English. You must. You must. Oh, no. Well, 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 we, we were not so confident. But <laughs> they said, they, they were very, yeah, you must, you must. <laughs> so we went into the studio and did an English version. Okay. And uh, Sonette, the record company, released it. 
a month later, it was number one in, in 17 countries. Oh. So that's how Secret Service started, actually. <laughs> If, if we listen to the music of Secret Service, we can find like two different styles because oh Susie, and then you have another success that 10 o'clock postman. If you listen 10 o'clock postman, it's like a more uh, rock from the end of the 70s, you know, it's like a, a little yeah. disco. Mm -hmm. But if we go to the Flash in the Night, Flash in the Night have a lot of synthesizers is like more futurist, you know? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why Why that change? It was like like that at, at the time when, when we recorded Flash and Light, the, the Lin drum machine, for instance, was completely new. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I haven't heard maybe one or two productions with, with these machines. Yeah. And we were very curious what can we do with these machines? So, so we started to, to, to investigate and try and try and, and suddenly say, wow, this is, this is amazing. It's a, <laughs> it's a new sound. <laughs> like a new toy. <laughs> so, so, yeah, like a new toy. Yeah, we were like kids actually really in the studio and, and say, wow, listen to this and, and the bass. We, we did a lot of things we never done before, uh, which was really funny. Yeah. And, and it came out in the beginning we said maybe we can't release this this is not secret service this is something <laughs> else uh well well we, we wait and, mm -hmm. then i went into the studio and and, and mixed and mixed and fixed and and i called ola said come and listen now now i think we got it and he came to the studio and he said yeah let's do it let's go um, lyrics the lyric was a guy called Björn Håkansson. He's not related with Ola, but uh, he's got the same last name. Okay. Uh, he was the lyric writer. Yeah. Um, I ask this because when I listen to Flash in the Night, it's like, a, well, it's a song with a lot of rhythm, yes. It, it's mm. not a, a, a fast song, you know? But the synthesizers, no. the, the harmony of that song is like, a, oh, something is happening, you know? It's like... Uh, what's going mm -hmm. on? What's going on? It's like a, a little ballad, you know. It's like a a, a mix. I, I really love mm -hmm. it. I really love it because it, it have a, a little a sad little moments, you know. Because it's flashing yeah. the night, Mister. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. is why I, I I'm asking this because it's like it have a lot of things. This song, I, I really love it. I really love it. And you have a lot of success yeah. in Russia. I watch videos on this Koteka 80s. Yeah, yeah, Incredible. yeah. Incredible. Yes, Incredible. yes. Incredible, really, yeah, and and uh, I can tell you the, the reason why. Because at the time in the 80s, before the war went down, there, there was Soviet. Uh, there was one record company in Russia, Melodica, mm -hmm. and the, and the chief of one guy, the chief of Melodica, came to Sweden because a lot of Russian have had heard Flash in the Night and the Ten O'clock Postman over the in the radio when they sat sat in in behind the radio machines and listen, wow, this is good. So he went to Sweden and, and asked a record company, can the Soviet record company release three albums of Secret Service? Mm -hmm. I said, uh, and we said, and the record chief asked us, what do you think? Shall we release in Russia? <laughs> well, what do we get for this? Ah, you get uh, uh, nothing, nada, <laughs> more or less, very, very little, very little. We said, okay, and we said, okay, let's go for it. Let's go just for fun. Yeah, okay. So, so mm, then in in uh, nineteen uh, uh, two thousand and five, mm -hmm. uh, when I was, I always go down to something called Midem in 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 uh, southern France where the meeting of record companies and publishers are. Mm -hmm. And every year there's Russians coming to me. You must come to Russia and play. You are very, <laughs> very successful. <laughs> oh, no, forget it, forget it. It's dangerous. No, 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 no. <laughs> but 
But that year he said, you must come, you must come. You will play on the big theater, it's about 30,000 people, uh, blah, blah, blah. And, and I went home and I asked Ola, what, what shall we do? I don't want to go, Ola said, take take one of your, your vocalist guys and, and, and Tim Norell, who's writing the songs and some other guys from the band and go. So we did that. Yeah. And then we met then we met this chief from the former Soviet company, <laughs> now chief for Universal in, in, in Russia. <laughs> and he said, wow, ah, very good, very good. We, do you know what happened? We got permission to print 100,000 uh, of each album. That's the deal. Do you know how many we pressed? No, I have no idea. 10 millions, oh. he said. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Look, uh, if you Google back in time, will you change something of your career, you know, or not? Yeah, yes. Uh, actually, I would because we were invited to do a, a James Bond theme for a James Bond movie. Oh, wow. And we were... We, Of some strange reason, I can't remember, we said no. I, wow. I, I don't know why. I, I don't remember why. That That's okay. a really crazy thing. That's yeah. one of the most craziest things. Afterwards, I think that was one of the most crazy things we, we done, actually. And one more thing. We were also invited to make a tour in China, mm. uh, which would have been very, very interesting to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yes. So those two things, I think, uh, otherwise, I think we did what we could. I mean, we we, we uh, did our music and, yeah. Yes. You don't, you don't have to. There is no regrets, you know, because you have a good no. career. It was a, 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 good mo a, yeah. a great moment. A great sure. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, mm -hmm. this question is looking for, you know, Okay, yes, if I go back in time, I would change this and this and this. But yeah. mm. you do great things, of course. Of course, that's... Yes, it mm. was... The, uh, I think the 80 was the moment from China because a lot of artists uh, went uh, traveled to China, yeah. to Taiwan, exactly, Hong exactly. Kong. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I want to know about your new projects of this year. So tell me that. Okay, we, we, yeah, we, this, this COVID has been a terrible thing, of course. Two lost years for us, yeah. more or less, which is crazy. But what can we do? We did our best. We have released uh, some songs. We released a new single two, one week ago uh, called, called Jane. And it seemed like it, a lot of viewers very fast. So, so, mm -hmm. and and the things we we're gonna release more, a couple of more. We did one uh, another in in December something. Okay. And uh, there will be probably, hopefully, an album coming out. Oh wow! In, yeah, in in March, not in March, in April, May to in the end of April something. Okay. Yeah, and since I moved here, I, I we did a lot of recordings in my studio in Stockholm. I have no studio in Stockholm anymore, but uh, I'm building a studio. I'm building a studio here. Okay. So so uh, yeah. So so when this and it's it's going on right now. So I just took a break to talk with you. I should be down and fixing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, great, great. Well, my friend, thank mm. you very much for your time. Uh, mm. I really appreciate it. Thank you for this opportunity. It's such a big honor for me. So thank you very much for that. Uh, uh, please, it was just funny. And, and, and please, uh, I want to say hello to all you listeners and whatever. And please yeah. listen to Secret Service. Yes, of course, of course, of course, of <laughs> course that. <laughs> so uh, have a, a nice day there. Just yeah. uh, keep in touch. And I wish you the best, okay? Ah, thank you. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.